series, of course, with this uh, iteration of Animal Crossing, we're trying to appeal to not to uh, users of the franchise, people who have played earlier games in the series, but also hoping to appeal to their friends, um, some people maybe they would like to introduce to the game, and also, of course, to new users. And to do so, we've added uh, a lot of content that we think will appeal to both groups. Okay, some of the new features that we've included uh, in this version of Animal Crossing, of course, are the Wi-Fi functionality. Um, uh, in addition to that, of course, there's the new city area, which is a separate area outside of the uh, player's town which, is they, which they live within. The city area is some place that the characters or the users can go when they feel like sort of stepping out so they can, uh, you know, get dressed up to go out and it's sort of a, a nice feeling of, like I said, just stepping out onto the town, they get on the bus and go into this new area. And while they're there, there are uh, a variety of uh, activities that they can take part in. And one of those is there's, that there's a, a theater where you can go and you can meet characters that you don't actually meet within your town. And within the theater, there's a, a character that teaches your uh, player uh, new emotions that they can use throughout the game and sort of liven up their interactions with other with other characters and other uh, human players as well. And uh, outside of the, the city area, um, we've also included things, you know, some new things to stuff that you do within your town. So not only are there new features that we put in the game to entertain the users, we've enhanced some of the creative features that were already in place so that the users can find new ways to, to entertain themselves. In regards to controls, yes, you're correct. There is the, the Wii plus Nunchuck set, and there's also the Wii Remote Standalone. Now with the Wii and Nunchuck combination, you'll use the Nunchuck to do most of your actions in the field, moving around, interacting with other characters, uh, picking up things, uh, any of the, sort of the actions you do on the actual gameplay field. Uh, then once you go into your menus, you'll use the Wii Remote and the pointer functionality to do your controls there. Of course, you can use the Wii Remote Standalone to do everything as well, and that, of course, is just mostly a, a pointing, you know, using the pointer for your uh, main control. Uh, there is no GameCube's controller support. Um, now, in regards to the USB SD keyboard, yes, we that is that does work with this, so it does make messaging uh, simpler for those people who like using keyboards. So, addressing the connectivity between the DS and the Wii, if you have um, Animal Crossing on your DS, um, what you'll be able to do this time, if we're, we're assuming that a lot of players have spent some time with that game and created a player character that they, they enjoy, maybe you know it's the name or the character model itself, well you can now upload that character into your Wii version and use the same character that you used in the DS game in your Wii game. Another thing that we can do is use the DS as a means to help people who maybe don't have Wi-Fi at home. When you take your character data over to a friend's house via the DS, you're not using the DS to do any sort of controlling. And you will be able to then play on in that person's town on that person's Wii, but you will not be playing together. To get two people or three people, or as we saw four people in our video, that is only via Wi-Fi only. So if I'm taking my character data over on the DS and then playing on that person's Wii, I will be visiting their town um, on my own. Wii Connect 24, of course, this is something that um, operates with the Wii is always, always on, always connected. That's the way that, the, and so that the hardware then will automatically send and receive data. That's how that service works. And so the way that we've um, implemented that within Animal Crossing City Folk is the city area of the game. That is a place that you should consider a common ground for people who have exchanged, who have become Wii friends. So um, people who have become Wii friends will go into the city area and interact with things there. For example, there's the auction house. So that data is then sent via Wii Connect 24 automatically back to your hardware. So then when you go into the city, you can see things that I have done within the city. So that's how Wii Connect 24 works with Animal Crossing City Folk. Um, and it's all done automatically. While I can't announce a specific launch date, the game will be out this holiday season, so we hope that everyone looks forward to it and we think we'll be delivering a great holiday present for you.